Here's everything you need to know to record, live stream, and edit your content with Riverside. Use our AI tools to remove filler words, create vertical reels of your podcast. And using our AI tools, you can get your content ready to publish in minutes. You can always use the chapters down here to jump to a specific part of the process, and let's get into it. When you log into your Riverside account, this is your home tab. Here you can quickly jump in to record new content, edit content, and any recent clips you might've been working on will show up here in the recent section. Within your Riverside account, you can have multiple studios. A studio could be a podcast and you record all episodes of a podcast there. You could have another studio for interviews and maybe one for solo content. And within each studio, you can have multiple projects. Think of those like episodes of a show. If I go to my projects tab, now you'll see every episode I've recorded of my podcast in a specific folder. If I jump into one of these projects, you'll see your recordings where you can download those high quality video and audio files, edits like vertical clips or the full episode. And we'll come back to this after we record something. Let's go back to the home tab and jump into the Riverside Studio to record. I'll click the record button here. Then you'll be here in the Riverside lobby. This is where you or any remote guest that might be joining you will type in their name here and that will appear in the recordings and transcript later. Then you would choose your camera, microphone, and speaker output. You can change these in the studio up until the time you hit record. Choose whether or not you're using headphones. Once you've selected your devices, click join studio. And this is where the magic happens. When you record with Riverside, you get local high quality video and audio recording. That means any internet or bandwidth issues don't affect your recording or your remote guests, which if you wanna invite a remote guest, you'll see the guest link here. Just copy that link send it to them and they open it in Google Chrome or Microsoft Edge web browsers and they'll appear here in the studio to record with you. You can also invite by email, type in their email here and click send invite and they'll get information to join as well as that guest link. A few quick things before we start recording. If you wanted to live stream with Riverside, which you can do completely for free, click live stream here at the top and you can connect things like a YouTube channel, Twitch account, and you can stream to all those destinations at the same time. Click Add Destination, and you can add a Facebook page, X account, and even any custom RTMP destination, including Instagram. Once others have joined you here in the studio, you can go to the People tab here on the right, expand each person's menu, and you'll see the camera, microphone, and speaker that they are using. So if they forgot to choose their USB mic in that lobby, you can help them change it by keeping an eye on their devices here. You'll also see the audio waveforms, making sure everyone has signal. Studio chat, that allows you to send messages to other guests in the studio with you or even producers. And if you're live streaming with Riverside, you can actually have messages from those third-party platforms show up here in the chat. We call that our Omnichat feature. And you can even broadcast messages out to all those platforms as well. Go down to the text tool and you can program lower thirds to show while you're live streaming and even make them clickable for Riverside audience members. Go down to the media board and you can upload video and audio clips to play while you record. This is live streaming or just recording solo or with remote guests. And when you play video clips here from the media board, you'll get a separate track recording in your dashboard and the Riverside editor will also put it together for you, saving you time on editing. And finally, with multiple guests, you can go to our live stream layout feature and change between speaker full screen, where it focuses on whoever's talking, speaker split screen, choose fit or fill, and more. Also down at the bottom, we have a script tool, so you can bring that up and refer to it as notes, or even enter teleprompter mode and turn on automatic scrolling so you can read from the screen and still being recorded in high quality. Finally, you can share your screen, either a tab, window of an application, or your entire display by going to share, click screen, choose your tab, window, or an entire display, and that will be recorded in high quality as well. You'll get those separate tracks and the Riverside editor will put it together. When we're ready to record, let's hit the record button down here at the bottom. You'll get a five second countdown. And once it hits zero, you're being recorded in high quality video and audio, saved locally to your device, and then being uploaded to Riverside simultaneously. You'll see an upload progress, both for every person under the People tab, and you'll see an upload progress in purple here at the top. Now you can go share your screen, play media from the media board, even live stream. And when you're done recording, just hit stop here at the bottom. Tell everyone to wait around just for a couple seconds as their video and audio files finish uploading. You'll get a notice here that everything's been uploaded. And now we can go directly to the project to start editing. Now back here on the projects page, we can jump into the Riverside editor or use some of the AI tools to quickly repurpose our content. For instance, I can go up to create and then choose magic clips. And this will generate vertical videos of my long form content in seconds. I'll click generate clips. And in a few moments, we'll have a bunch of vertical clips ready to edit more and share on social media. Also, Riverside automatically creates what we call a magic episode. This does things like remove silences and filler words and gives you a huge head start in editing your content. Also, depending on your plan, you'll get AI generated show notes, which gives you a summary, takeaways, keywords to use and things like YouTube tags and more, 
all generated from your transcript. If you want to download those high quality separate video and audio tracks for every guest, you can go up to the source files here, and then you'll see each person recorded separately. You can click high quality and download the raw video and raw uncompressed wave audio, or even a compressed version via MP3. You'll also see every screen share gets its own separate track, and you can download each one individually. Now, if you wanted to start editing your content from scratch, you can do that as well. I'll just go to edit from scratch here at the top. Here in the editor, there are some amazing tools to help you get your content ready fast. I'll go up to AI producer in the top right, and this is where you can remove silences, filler words, and more with a few clicks. I can click apply on remove pauses, and then adjust the slider to change the pace. For a faster pace, like for vertical videos, maybe go all the way to the right. For the full episode, I like to keep it about there. I can remove filler words with one click, it will even tell me how many it's cutting, 475. You can remove small talk with fine fluff, and you can also apply magic audio, which will make any microphone sound studio quality. You can even adjust how much is applied using the sliders to each guest, and that's gonna remove background noise, echo, and can even make a built-in mic on a laptop sound great. You can also apply smart layouts, which will focus on the active speaker, and then go back to side-by-side -side in those in-between moments. And we also have a new eye contact feature, which will use AI, so it appears like you're looking directly into the camera, even if your eyes are a little off screen. You can also go up to the brand tool and choose a background, logo, and color palette and apply it to all of your recordings. Go down to music and you can add background music, even from our stock audio library, add animated captions, even save your favorite styles that match your brand so you can apply those quickly. You can also upload your own images, video, and audio clips to overlay while you're editing. That could be full screen slides or pictures. You can even do the same for video B-roll by clicking videos down here, upload your own videos or search for royalty free, click on a video, expand it to fill the frame, and now you have animated captions, live switching between guests, and video B-roll all here in the Riverside editor. Speaking of volume adjustments, you can go back up to the tracks tool, go to an individual and change the volume for that person, how much magic audio is applied, and now you can even apply EQ, both from presets that we have here or open a graphic EQ and get that audio sounding just how you want. If you want to quickly change the format of the video to make a reel, you can go up here, go to 9x16, and Riverside reformats everything automatically. And every time you record, you'll see the transcript here in the editor, and you can edit via text. Just select some text, click the trash can, and you've edited your video and audio content. Riverside also automatically generates chapters here, you can add your own chapters using the Add Chapter tool here, or click on the three dots to rename, remove it, or just delete the content, meaning the video and audio associated with that chapter. And there's so many other features built in here. I'll link a video that goes more in depth down in the video description and up here, but let's export our content. When we're done editing, we can go up to Export, choose up to 4K video quality, and then you can export that video. You can also jump over to Audio and export a WAV or MP3 file perfect for your podcast host. And once you've exported your content back on the projects page, you can go to exports. You'll see all the clips and full episodes that you've edited and exported. And now you can download them. Or if you'd like to create a new edit based on the full episode you already edited, click the three dots next to that export and you can move it to another project or create a new draft, which will jump you back into the editor with all the changes you made to this clip. And that's everything you need to know to record, live stream and edit with Riverside in eight minutes. If you have any questions, leave comments below this video. I answer those personally and subscribe to the channel and hit that like button. Lots of videos on upgrading your gear, getting better video and audio quality, and how to grow your podcast or YouTube channel. I'll put a more in-depth video on Riverside's features right up here so you can learn everything you need to know. And this video, YouTube thinks you're really gonna enjoy it. Thanks for watching. We can't wait to see what you create.